Buckle up drama lovers, because we got some wild updates for you. Short dramas are taking the spotlight with rapid-fire episodes packed with wild plot twists that leave censorship behind. Enter Kaibo Donjuji, short drama premiere season, where celebs tackle acting challenges featuring love triangles, strangling, forced kisses, and even stabbing. Leading the charge are fan favorites Lee Moochun and Dar Galjung. Lee Moochun been killing it in short dramas since her breakout in Provoke and Fortune Writer, but she also has a history in long dramas like The King's Avatar. While most actors chase longer gigs, Lee Moochun's sticking to what works. With jobs scarce a couple of years ago, she decided the long drama grind wasn't worth it, especially when the pay was low and roles were limited. At 31, she's all about making smart choices, and her success in short dramas proves she's got it right. Dai Galjung is now the face of short dramas, thanks to his memorable role in Maid's Revenge. On the reality show, they couldn't resist mentioning his steamy kiss scenes. Dai Galjung joked that his acting teacher Sukra taught him those moves. But Sukra was quick to clap back, saying that Ai Gaojung was definitely self-taught when it came to the romantic stuff. Sukra also pointed out that more of his students are getting into short dramas, and he's all for it. Seems like the genre is a goldmine for up-and-coming talent, with bigger payoffs and way less time on set. So, whether it's the wild storylines, hot new talent, or just the right amount of drama, short dramas are making major waves. Over in longer drama land, Lee Chin and Sing Sinshid are here to steal your heart in the new costume drama Snowy Night Timeless Love. Adapted from the popular novel Seven Night Snow by Tsong Yir, this drama is currently airing and is packed with all the feels. The plot follows Hua Janbai, played by Sung Sin Shi, as he hunts for medicine to help a friend's sick kiddo. Along the way, he crosses paths with Xie Zhu, the master of the Valley of Medicine, played by none other than Lee Chin. Sparks fly, as these two have their fair share of clashes before forming a close bond. But, as usual, duty calls, and they find it tough to admit their feelings, which leads to some heart-wrenching moments. The buzz around this drama was real, especially with the hype about real location shooting. Fans were hyped for those stunning snowy backdrops. But hold up, once the drama dropped, some of those snow scenes looked more like a filtered Instagram post than a magical winter wonderland. Fans were not happy, feeling like they got duped with a cheap studio backdrop instead. And let's talk about the chemistry between Lee Chin and Sung Sun Shi. While some viewers loved their vibe, others pointed out their age and maturity gaps, which led to a bit of a disconnect. But don't count them out just yet. A key confession scene under a snowy tree got everyone talking. Bo Jamba struggles to express his feelings after finally learning Shi Ziyi's true intentions, leading to some major emotional tension. Even without a smooch, their eye contact and shared toasts delivered some serious feels that fans absolutely loved. Overall, while Snowy Night Timeless Love has had its ups and downs, it's definitely capturing viewers' hearts with its romantic storytelling. Next up, the new series Kill Me Love Me is serving up a spicy mix of revenge, romance, and some serious red flags. Le Yid is bringing the heat as Murong Jinghe, the prince of Great Yan, who's got a dark side that'll make you question his every move. This guy's a classic bad boy with a twist. Think ruthless schemer meets anti-hero extraordinaire. He takes things to the extreme, and let's just say, he doesn't hold back when it comes to the heroine. Speaking of heroines, Wu Jingyan steps into the spotlight as Meilin, a fierce woman on a mission. Instead of being the typical damsel in distress, she's out for blood, literally. After surviving a devastating fire that killed her family, she's ready to take down Murong Jingfo. But plot twist, she's disguised as his bride-to-be while secretly plotting his demise. Talk about drama. The show, based on Qian novel Chun Hua Yan, follows Murong Jinghe fall from grace as he goes from a noble prince to the dreaded butcher general after the flames of betrayal burn down his city. While he's busy trying to uncover the truth behind the tragedy, Meilin is sharpening her assassin skills with the shadow works, all set to avenge her family. But wait, there's more. Bi Wen Jin pops up as Yerqin, the prince with a heart who's stuck in the enemy's castle, and Al Xiao Tong rocks the role of the badass female general. Chun Chufu is serving ambition as Murong Shenlei, the emperor's eldest son, while Wang Ruying brings in some royal drama as Zigu, the peacekeeping princess. So far, Kill Me Love Me is packing a punch with its dark visuals and intense kiss scenes that will leave you breathless. But it's not all perfect, some fans have noticed Liu Shuyi voice acting is a bit slow for their taste. Let's just say his lines like, I can take you right here, or I can kill you, might either hook you or have you roll in your eyes. Whether you're here for the fiery chemistry between the leads or just to see how this tale of love and vengeance unfolds, Kill Me Love Me is definitely the drama to watch. Now for Wang Furdi update. The dude who rocketed to stardom in love between fairy and devil and only for love is back and ready to steal the show again. 
He's teaming up with the fabulous Dan Shiwei in the new period drama Guardians of the Dafo. But wait, there's more. After that, he's diving headfirst into his first lead role in the suspense thriller Light to the Night, where he'll be channeling his inner action hero as a no-nonsense police officer. With a fresh short haircut and some serious acting chops, he's gearing up to partner with heavyweights Bon Yuming and Rinmir to crack some intense cases. The excitement is palpable, and netizens are buzzing. When he's not busy saving the day on screen, Wang Herdi has been keeping his fanbase entertained with a series of themed photo shoots straight from his studio. His latest project, Chasing Waves, features him looking sharp in a crisp white shirt while splashing around in the sparkling sea. And let's just say, when he stands tall, those subtly defined chest muscles make a cameo, leaving netizens drooling and dubbing him the ultimate heartthrob. Remember when Mang Herbie and Yu Shushin set screens on fire and love between fairy and devil? Fans couldn't get enough of their on-screen chemistry, coining them the Di Xin Feng Ball couple. Rumors of a romance between the two took off faster than a rocket, and while Wang Herdi has been promoting Guardians of the Ba Feng with Tan Shiwei, many devoted fans are still holding out hope for that magical reunion. And here's the cherry on top. The annual China Vogue Festival is just around the corner, happening on the 17th. The star-studded guest list includes heavyweights like Wang Yibo, Zhang Ruyin, Zhao Lusu, and of course, Wang Herdi and Yu Sushi. Fans are buzzing at the thought of these two sharing the spotlight once again. Could it be a classic reunion? Only time will tell. Speaking of reunions, Yang Yang is back in action, and this time he's putting on a show in the costume drama Zhao Adventures, teaming up with Ang Ronan and Fang Yila. Yang Yang stars as the hero John Zhao, and let me tell you, he's bringing the heat. In the latest release scene, he's fiercely brandishing a sword to protect a kiddo from a horde of villains. It gets intense, he's outnumbered, seriously injured, and coughing up blood. Picture this. He's propped up by a sword, veins bulging and a pained expression in his eyes, trying to comfort the scared child next to him. It's a total tearjerker. Gone is the Ang Yang usual suave vibe. He looks disheveled and battered, showcasing a raw emotional side that fans are totally loving. The scene has hit hard with viewers, raising the hype for the drama's premiere. But wait, there's drama off screen too. Fans have been buzzing about Ang Yang height. While he's listed at 180 centimeters, he looks shorter next to 184 centimeters tall Fong Yilun in their scenes together. The production crew had to tweak their styling, adjusting the height of both actors' ponytails to create a visual trick to balance things out. Some eagle-eyed netizens even think Yang Yang might be rocking some height-boosting shoes. Don Zhao Adventures is based on the novel by Minifish and follows our hero Don Zhao as he digs up evidence against the king of Shang Yang. He teams up with the feisty Huolin Long, played by Zhang Ronan, and the righteous Bai Yutong, played by Fang Yilun, to take down the villain and restore peace. It's a wild ride full of clashes and team-ups. And that's your scoop. Stick around for more juicy updates, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for all the tea.